Shannon Watt with another Marriage Minute for you. Today I would like to talk a little bit about money. <gasps> I know, for a lot of people, money is the bigger taboo than talking about sex. In fact, a Forbes poll said that 31% of couples, don't they actually fudge a little bit and lie to each other about money issues and money situations. So today I'd like to have a little conversation about how to increase your literacy as a couple in your finances and to help you guys not sabotage your relationship, but to work together and creating the goals that you want in money and to help release a lot of the emotions that come around money. One of those ways that um, we feel emotions about money with guilt or shame or stress about it, and then we hide purchases or we make, um, yeah, we make purchases without telling each other or hiding ladies. I don't know if you've ever hidden something that you bought at the store and don't want them to see it and just you know, get those shoes and stick in your closet before he sees it. Or guys, if you've been so excited that you've been impulse buys for tech gadgets at the store and then try, try to somehow not let that be known, those th situations are called financial infidelity in my world. That there's something that can be just as toxic as actual adultery infidelity, but actually with your finances. If you guys are not being completely straightforward on where your money is going and getting um, prior not approval, but prior coming together and deciding that this is a good purchase for bigger ticket item things, that that really sabotages your relationship. I've seen this in my own marriage, uh, my own family, not my marriage, my family, and also with Dino's family, where people were making sometimes purchases out of emotions of like, I'm going to get back at you, or I'm upset. And then those emotions really um, got in the way of their budget and of where their financial goals were. So my tip is to not create financial infidelity. If you've got a little uh, side bank account or you're hiding or stashing money, stop it. Get together, get on the same page. If your money goals are not going together, if you're not having powerful conversations, if you're not discovering what your money personality is, what your money blueprint from your childhood, what you were raised, these are the kind of conversations you need to get educated on so that you can lower the stress about money in your life and actually come together and be financially literate and, and uh, cohesively working on the same page. Another uh, tip on this is to live within your means. I know it's been heard everywhere before. I heard somebody the other day say a funny quote, the American dream is now to live beyond your means. So let's reverse, reverse that and get back to where we were before, where we live within our means and have a little extra left over. Also, if you're somebody who's an entrepreneur or you own your own business, make sure that you're working on your home life as much as you're working on your business life. Invest time, resources, um, mental energy, get educated just as much about how to make your, your relationship and your family life run like a well-oiled machine as you do in your own business. There are systems and strategies to put in place in your home life to make it function as smoothly as you want your business to be running as well. So keep the balance between your home life and your business. And Lastly, just to be honest, authentic, and completely willing to work at this money relationship. So you have your own relationship with money and you have your own relationship with your spouse. And get all three of those, all three of you guys working together. You, your spouse, and your money relationship or issues and things. Get them all on the same page and it'll be powerful for watching your income increase, watching your life and your family enjoy more happiness and increase in all over in your marriage when you are working on your finances as well. So this is Shannon Watt reminding you to play full out in your relationship, that you're responsible for you, and always make it a safe place in your own business of marriage. Thanks.